Coney Island is the place to be on this 4th of July holiday. Lots of people cooling off at the beach on this beautiful holiday Monday. Others spent the morning going for a stroll or a bike ride and checking out all the attractions along the famous boardwalk. Right now, let's check out the exclusive CBS2 forecast from John Elliott. And what about the rain? John? Yeah, John, lots of rain and steam coming up, huh? So here's the deal. We do need the rain, so that's a blessing. Problem is, it's heavy rain, so that's runoff. And steam, yeah, we got that. And yeah, Brian, oh, fireworks. <laughs> oh, my goodness, let's talk about it. Weather watchers on the job and on the scene. You know, Ed, big Ed, big red out in uh, Lebanon. He's to the west where the clouds are coming in. And look at this gorgeous view. So he's got beautiful skies. A neighbor a little closer to the city. I love this from Eva. Now, this you got to pay attention to. She's got 85 degrees, so it's warming up. But if you look closely on the sundial, yeah, that's right. When it gets right there, I'm on TV. So she knows it's time. I mean, we are cutting edge technology in the weather department. I like that. And I do like all the well wishes from so many of the weather watchers. I love the red, white, and blue. Love the skies. And uh, that's little Colin. Yeah, make sure if the kids are out there, they've got the sunscreen on. We'll talk about your wellness forecast in just a second. In the city right now, it looks pretty. It's very nice out there. We are waiting for some clouds to fill in. But give me your tired and your poor. Beautiful Lady Liberty from a high atop the Empire State Building. We can get this kind of hazy view of that lovely lady. Most Mostly sunny in 81. Winds are variable at 6. 78 in Greenwich in the Hamptons. A little cooler there. A little warmer to the west as demonstrated already. 82 in Edison. 81 in White Plains in Belmar. Those readings 3 to 5 degrees warmer than we were yesterday. Dew points starting to creep up a bit but still comfortable in the 50s. Dew points will be in the upper 60s and low 70s. Tuesday into Wednesday. That's when the humidity really sticks around. That humidity adds to the chance of rain tomorrow. UV forecast is an 8 today. Burn time, 20 minutes. Pollen is medium. Air quality, moderate. We are going to see air quality likely deteriorate this week. Humidity ultimately will be on the rise, and we will see that barometer drop dramatically after the fireworks tonight. Real quick review of the future cast. It's clouds this afternoon with a passing shower possible. It's a close call for the fireworks with definitely clouds overhead and light rain in the area. And then it's heavy rain. Early tomorrow morning, we see some thunderstorms. Early commuters, you're going to be dealing with some heavy rain. And then during the day, that focus shifts to the south. Then in the afternoon, it's the pop-up storms. Looks dry for your day, 83. Looks gray for the fireworks, clouds. There's a slight chance of a shower. There will be some showers in the area. And then, ooh, hang on to your iced tea. We've got the heavy rain overnight tonight. Pop-up storms Tuesday afternoon. Then there you'd go, three in a row, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's when we see the heat and humidity really doing a number. First heat wave of the summer. Yeah, yeah. it's here. Mm -hmm. All right.